is Sabrina Farrell, and I'd like to be an RA. First of all, I am a very, very bubbly and upbeat person. I like to have new experiences and meet new people and make a lot of new friends. Second of all, I am a double major in math education and theater, so I've got the outgoing, bubbly, quirky, strange theater person in me, but I've also got the very logical, down-to-earth, mathematical, straight and narrow, black and white personality, too. So just some general things about me. I have always wanted to be a legacy child. So when I started off my college career, I went to Southeast Missouri State University. I loved the campus. It was gorgeous. I had a lot of fun in my classes, but something wasn't quite right. I never felt like I belonged there. I was always I always just felt like a number or just someone in the crowd, not a real person. So I transferred back to back home to Milliken. I'm from this area. So in here I have a lot of family that went to school here. I've got a couple cousins that are interested in coming here, so I got family ties to this area. Um, I love being here. Uh, some reasons why I want to be an RA. Like I said, I'm a people person. I love being around people and just getting to know them, hanging out, having fun. Um, I, as I mentioned, I'm one of my majors is math education. I will be a fifth generation teacher. Uh, kind of runs in my blood. So the whole uh, keeping kids in line is actually kind of fun for me. And finally, I had a lot of what I would call RA experiences when I was at Southeast Missouri State University. Um, my first roommate and I did not get along at all. I, we never spoke. I think I had one conversation with her the entire time I lived with her. So about halfway through first semester, I switched roommates and I got along with my second roommate very, very well. We had a great relationship, but she had had some issues, and I kind of served as like her mother slash roommate slash best friend while I was there. It was a very strange relationship, but it worked for us. She needed a lot of discipline, which I gave her. Um, she partied a little too much, and so I tried to keep her in line as much as I could, and it, I tried with her. Um, next, I was kind of like the floor counselor on my floor. I lived in a co-ed dorm, but it was co-ed by floor, so I lived in an all-girl all floor, and R it was really, really nice, and I liked her a lot, but she wasn't quite as adapt or as she, she wasn't a great communicator with her uh, residents. She tried to keep the at arm's length and to us it made her seem a little cold. I mean she was really she was a nice enough person but so what I'd like to do is I'd like to take my experiences uh, well when I was there I was the floor cop dog. The girls would come to me with their problems about boys, school, parents, you name it. I they was told. Um, for big issues, of course, they went to our RA, but for smaller things, they would usually try and come to me and talk things out with me first. Um, I helped one of my friends cope with what her boyfriend at the time was doing and try to you know, help her make sense of it. He was trying to decide what branch of military he wanted to go into and she didn't want him to go into the military. So we just, we had some long talks about this stuff. Um, I've helped a lot of girls with school. Uh, I, as I said, I was a math major, I am a ma math major and I was there too. So a lot of the girls would come to me with math questions or science questions or um, just, you know, can you help me with this? Can you help me with this? Um, we had some roommate issues on my floor, not just between my room, my first and second roommate and I, but 
between other girls that were rooming together. Uh, so I help mediate some of that, just try and relieve some of the tension between the girls and get things in an organized fashion so that they could you know, move or be happy or just kind of that sort of thing. Uh, second of all, how would I build a community within the floor? Uh, well, of course, you, there's the generic just like floor meetings. There, you, there are also some really fun things you can do, uh, like some different and fun icebreakers at the first floor meeting, I think would be really fun. Uh, floor themes are an obvious choice. Also, like having study nights and study sessions or pizza parties something. Uh, movie nights. I know there was one time one of my friends and I at Southeast Missouri State were joking around like we really wanted to color. And that's all we wanted to do. We didn't want to, we wanted to take one night and not do our homework, just like a Friday night when everything's done on Monday, just take a Friday night, stay in and color. So we did. We had a coloring party in our lounge. We watched Disney princess movies and color and I'd really like to do that. I think that'd be a fun idea. Just bring out some of the good old Disney movies like Lion King and uh, Toy Story or of course the Disney princess movies. Watch those and just color and get to know the people that you're around. You know, anybody that wants to should come. Uh, pizza nights, great, great idea. Food is always a good idea. Uh, there was also a program that I went to at SEMA that I'd like to repeat. It was called Sex and Chocolate. Um, and there were two RAs and our, my entire hall came to this. And what we did was we got together and talked about sex. And just like being able to do that was really, really fun and really a good experience because I learned things that I needed to know and you know some of the pros and cons and the dangers of sex, but it may sound a little racy, but it's it was really a good idea and I think it helped a lot of the girls, especially on my floor, uh, just know about some of the stuff because there were some very, very sheltered girls that were extremely naive and just they needed to know these if they were going to go out. Um, so I, I think I'd like to do that. Uh, lastly, a legacy. What kind of a legacy do I want to leave? I think I'd like to be an RA that was recognized for being a good leader and for having lots of fun with the residents, but knowing when to get down to business. I'd like to be one of those people that is loved and respected because you know, they kind of follow the rules and kept everyone in line. Uh, just like a good person and a good leader, I think really what I'd like to be. Um, I would really like to be known as that awesome RA that everyone loved, but was really organized and really got down to business and kept kids on the straight and narrow and had the best haul ever with <laughs> You know, just anything, grades. Um, I like to be a person that my residents can come talk to about anything. I don't care what it is. Uh, if I were to be an RA, I would have generally an open door policy between such and such an hours, and my door is closed. You can knock, but I might not answer. Probably won't answer, especially if it's at you know three o'clock in the morning. So. Um, so I think that's about it. Uh, if you'd like to know any more, just send me an email at lfarrell at milliken.edu. And I would love to hear back from you. Thanks. Bye.